while playing multiple copies of D2R, I'd notice that the background frame rate is the same as the foreground frame rate. So you can see these FPSs in the front and background are all very similar, and it's causing my GPU to run really hot and my CPU to run really high when, I'm, when I have multiple instances. So here's how to fix that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the background frame rate lower than the foreground frame rate. So whatever's on the foreground is going to be 60 FPS and the background frame rates will be lower. Since I have a, an AMD GPU, I'm going to do the AMD first, but I will show the NVIDIA process as well. You're going to go to Riva Tuned's webpage, which is this here. I should have it already loaded in a tab here. I do not, but I can just copy that and paste it in here. Paste and go. Okay. So it'll take you to this website. Go down a little bit. You'll see this download version. Click that, and after a few seconds, it'll start to download. You can see I've done this multiple times. Um, once that's done, you click Open. Double-click this to install it. Um, select your language. Go through the Yes, Accept, Licensing, Next, and all that procedure. You can leave it at its current location um, until you're through the installation process. This may prop up a secondary installer that installs a dependency for this, but I've already installed it a few times, so it shouldn't. I uncheck the show me and finish. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the directory it installed in, which is C colon, and then you're going to go to uh, program files 86. Then you're going to go to Riva Tuner. Then you're going to go down to this profile templates. For, in my case, I'm looking for D2R. You can also do this with WoW and some other games, but um, I'm looking for D2R. So you find the D2R config folder and you copy that folder. Then you go back a level and you're going to go to profiles. You're going to paste that right here. Next thing you want to do is go back a level again and you're going to want to run this right here, the rtss.exe. I would recommend right-clicking and making an icon on your desktop if you want to do that, or you can go here every time. I don't believe it makes one for you. So once you run this program, it, it doesn't show automatically. It goes down here in your taskbar. But what you want to do is you want to immediately close it. So just go ahead and close that. All you were trying to get it to do at first is to populate the profile. Otherwise, this 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 is blank. You're going to want to right click and then you're going to go open with notepad. Now what you're looking for is frame rate right here in brackets you see frame rate. You're going to put this idle idle limit time to equals uh, 10,000 means that's in milliseconds. So that's 10 seconds. You can put a two there. It could be 20 seconds or two five zero 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 is 25 seconds however many seconds you want. I prefer 10. Once you've done that, click File and Save, and then you can go ahead and close and close that. So then you're going to go back a level again and run this program. Every time you run your multiple instances, at any time, you can run this program. And when you do, it'll pop up down here. Now, when you click this, it'll show you all the properties. I know it's really small, but I can't make it any bigger. There's no option to that I know of. But once it's once it does, you'll see what, what it actually does here is if you look at these frame, frames per second. Now, if I'm on this screen, it instantly goes to pretty close, pretty fast. It goes to 60 frames per second, but these are down to 10. And you'll notice that on my um, task manager, these are now taking far less resources to run for GPU and CPU. So that's how to do it with this program. Next, for NVIDIA, what you're going to want to do is you're going to get the NVIDIA control panel. To get that, you can if you have an NVIDIA card that automatically updates, you should see this icon. You can right-click and go to NVIDIA control panel. Otherwise, you can go to the link. I'll provide all this information in the description. Go to this link. You're going to open up a web browser, paste it in there, and you're going to click download. Click yes, next, and accept until you get through the download. And then once you've done that, you'll have this icon. Right-click on it and go to NVIDIA Control Panel. It's a little different than NVIDIA Control Panel, but I find it a little easier. Go to Manage 3D Settings. Then you're going to go to Program Settings because you don't want to make this change for everything, just for the program that you're running. 
you're going to want to select D2R from this list. If it isn't on this list, you can click add and another list should pop up of all the computers in your program, in your computer. You find it in this list and then you click add to selected programs. Okay, I've already done that and you select D2R, then you go down to um, maximum frame rate. You can't set the minimums without setting the maximum. So you set the maximum frame rate to 60 or whatever the game uh, typically runs best at for you. I set it to 60 and then you can go up here to background application max frame rate and set that to as low as 20. 20 is the lowest it'll go, but you can go a little higher if you if you like. I prefer to set it all the way at 20 if I was when I was using a NVIDIA graphics card. So that's it. Once you're done with that, you apply those settings, you reopen your games, and the, the background um, application should be at 20 frames per second for NVIDIA cards. Since I'm still running um, the AMD card, it I'm using the AMD method, and you can see that as soon as I click on one of these, it pretty much instantly goes back up to 60 frames per second on this one, but stays at 10 frames per second on the background images. And all this information up here is provided by this program. You don't have to have it. I kind of like it, but you know, it's, it's an option in here. You can play around with the options if you, as you, as you see fit. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you all enjoy and happy playing.